What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to take a look at another feature that's in release wave one of 2023, and that is virtual tables connected to SharePoint and SQL with a really simple wizard-driven interface. So this feature has been a big in-demand feature for a long time. A lot of companies use SQL and SharePoint, and a lot of developers have basically uh, built integrations in the background to connect the two to surface data in Power Apps and to be able to make changes of, in data in Power Apps and have that go over to uh, data in SharePoint and SQL. And what the Microsoft product group has been able to do is, is simplify the process dramatically so that there is a nice tight background integration through virtual tables and the hard work's been done for everyone and we just need to basically point and click and we'll be able to have the two systems integrated in a very nice way. So let's go ahead and jump straight into a demo and we'll show from start to finish how to set this up and how to get it working. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to SharePoint here. So this is my SharePoint environment. I'm just gonna go and create a site. Uh, let's create a basic team site here. And I'm gonna call it uh, my team site. And that all looks pretty good. Uh, and let's say that uh, anyone in my organization can access it. I'm gonna click next and I can add some uh, members of my team if I like. Um, and then I am going to click finish here. Okay, so that's going and uh, setting up my team site in SharePoint. And now what I can do is I can go over here and let's go and create a list. And uh, I'm gonna create a blank list here. And so lists in SharePoint are, you know, basically a place to uh, keep lists just like data, right? So I'm going to create a list here called uh, colors and it's going to be, uh, this is a list of colors, right? And we will show that in the site navigation. I'm going to click create here. And now what I can do is if I click new, I can just uh, go ahead and add records to my list here. Right, so if I do blue and I do red and I do green, and you can see here that I'm just literally adding some records here to my SharePoint list. Okay, so it's a super, super simple example of a SharePoint list that I've created very quickly here. And this is going to appear in our, in our Power App. Okay, uh, and we're going to see how tightly coupled this is. So now I'm going to click here and uh, go over to the Power Apps Maker portal and go over to tables. And, you know, I could do this in a solution or I could do it outside a solution. It's always recommended to do it inside a solution. But just for the demo, I'm going to click on new table here and uh, new table from external demo. And here is the new wizard that comes up. OK, this is how we're going to connect to the SharePoint list. So, uh, here it says uh, select a connection, choose a connection to create a new table from external data, right? So um, we wanna, in this example, we're gonna do SharePoint. Here is the SQL option below. And if I click advanced, it says manual configure the connection reference. So we're actually gonna create a connection reference here. So if I click uh, add connection, uh, you can see here that it says, how do you wanna connect? I'm gonna do connect directly cloud services, click create and I'm not connecting to a uh, on-prem, this is online. So the connection here has been created. Uh, so that's all ready to go. So now if I go back to the original tab, uh, I can click refresh here and it will show here the connection, okay? So now I go ahead and click next and here it's asking me for the SharePoint URL, okay? So I can go ahead and grab this one and just paste this in here and I don't know if you need to remove this or not, but I'm just gonna remove that. So it just has the team site there, okay? Um, now I'm gonna click next. And now it's uh, it's found the list here that um, we have created, the colors list. And here it says configure table and column names that will be used in the database. So this is really useful because it's gonna go ahead and and kind of set up the, the columns for us. So I'm gonna keep that checked. I'm gonna select colors here. And I'm going to click next and you'll see here 
in a second. It's like it's loading the required fields. It's it's going and doing the logic in the background, and now it's displayed it. So it says here, okay, the display name is colors, plural names colors. Uh, we could probably change this to color as the display name, and uh, then we have the uh, ID, the title, modified, created, etc., like this. So all these fields have been uh, automatically cre create. They will be automatically created for us, and um, everything looks good here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click next, and then it says here review and finish. Confirm the details of the data source and how it will be displayed in the Dataverse. And um, so here is uh, how it's going to look. That looks good to me. We could edit the configuration if we wanted. We could choose a different list here. It's all good. Going to click Finish. And this is just going to work in the background now to create that virtual table um, and have that connected to SharePoint. All right, so that's been created. It's loading up. Uh, the table here. Let's give it a couple of seconds. And here it is. So uh, here we have the um, the table and we can see here that it's pulled down the three records that are in SharePoint, right? So what I can do, let's go ahead and I'm going to edit this in a new tab here and we'll show, we'll kind of see the real time uh, integration going on here. Okay. So and you know, once again, we're in the Paraps Maker Portal. Uh, we could very easily create an app out of this, right? And um, and and create a form and 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 add users to the app, and have them do it that way in a nice, beautiful interface. Um, I'm just going to show it here, though, in the Paraps Maker Portal to uh, to show you really quickly the ideas behind this. So, let's say we wanted to. So, if I go back to here, this is the SharePoint. We have the three items. Let's say I add a new item here, right? So I'm going to click add new row and I'm going to type in orange and click tab, right? We see in the bot in the top right, it's saving. And in a second, we'll see that it's saved. It says data saved. If I go over to SharePoint now, watch this, right? Um, we're just going to kind of watch the screen here. I'm not going to do anything. There it is, right? So there's orange. So it's, it's integrated the two uh, instantly, right? <laughs> it's amazing. Um, now, if I go back here, let's say I want to rename red, okay? So let's go ahead and change this color here. So if I make it red 2, for example, right? If I go and tab off this here, again, in the top right, we see the saving. And it's doing its saving. And then it's saved back over here, straight over into SharePoint. And then if we give that a second, there it is, right? Super fast, right? And then let's say I wanted to change this one. So I go into here and edit this. And if I click red three, click save. And then now back over here, if I go and refresh this, we'll see here that it has the new value straight away, right? So it's doing all this in the background. I can uh, delete as well in both directions. If I click delete here, it's uh, deleting here and back over here in SharePoint. Let's take a look, uh, give it a second. There it is, it's gone. And now if I delete the orange one, for example, I go and click delete here and delete, and then back over in my Power Apps, refresh here. And you can see that the record's been deleted. And I just wanna show the uh, table definition here real quick. So we can see it's a virtual table, right? And Really, in, in such a short amount of time, just a few minutes, we, we were taken through a wizard and we were able to uh, set up this virtual table integration between SharePoint and this Power App. And we really, you know, didn't do a lot as a, as a developer, right? So, you know what, let's go ahead and create an app and just kind of just see what this looks like, right? So, I'm going to call this uh, the Colors App, okay? I want to call it Colors App like that. Going to click create here. Uh, let's just do this for fun, right? So it says we're using the table to create an app. Next, we'll see it in the app designer and take a quick tour. That's fine. Um, let's just wait for this to finish. All right, so here is our app. It's created a uh, view for us here, and it has the all the colors displayed. And so let's go ahead and click play here to publish this. To uh, Sorry, play here to preview it. <laughs> 
And here we are in the app and here is the colors. So now let's go back over here. Let's create a new color here. I'm gonna say purple this time and click save. And then if we go back over to our D365 app over here, I'm gonna go and click the refresh button and we'll see the purple there, great. And now if I click on the actual purple color, we can see here is, we have this one form that's been provided to us with the title and it has purple here. So that's great. I'm gonna call this purple two. Let's go and save and close this one. And I will create a new record here and let's call this one maroon and we'll do a save and close here. So now we've uh, edited one color, we've created a new one. So now back over in SharePoint here, let's see what's going on. And we can see those two come through here. So it really, it's just so nice to be able to have this integration and, and create an app so quickly or, or, or integrate this virtual table into your existing app and be able to use it that way. Very cool feature, hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.